What's your approach to mentoring the next generation of security professionals? Build the foundations. So I teach them, like, I make sure that they know, like, the foundations of networking. Like, some of the some of the stuff is taken for granted, I feel like. Like, a lot of things that used to be more complicated back in the day that would require things like, you know, command line access or something like that to do, like, can now be done through a GUI interface, which, like, that's saying that, I mean, like, if it's better for you, then do it, right? Like, whatever works. But, like, a lot of times I find myself having to teach some, like, the more remedial basics, like, how do you quit out of Vim, right? Like, I don't know if you've, I, we've probably all been there, but like you're stuck just teaching them that or that, hey, you know, you can actually use Nano. It's a lot quicker. So just like those tips and tricks that you take for granted, like show them your efficiencies as well, right? Like what's your IDE environment look like? Compare and like, you know, compare and contrast. So like maybe you can learn something from them, but like maybe they can learn something from you. I've actually found emojis are great. Emojis in your terminal have been actually fantastic at drawing my eyes to important things during scripting. So like that's something like I had never started using until I started working with this one guy who like, I swear, like text me an emoji, like just pure emoji sentences. I'm like, okay. So like I started throwing those in some of the scripts and it's like, oh, it is nice when there's like an X, right? A visual X, red X and, or a green check mark. 